here inside the uh, Terrence Crawford, uh, Victor Postal press conference the end of the fight here with Maureen Shea. Uh, first of all, Maureen, thoughts on this fight? You go to how you thought it was going to go? Oh, I actually had Crawford for late stoppage. I was hoping for it. I just think he's so crafty. His boxing is just... He's awesome. I love his angle work. I love how smart he is at adjusting. Um, I knew Postal was a bigger guy. I knew he was going to come in. And, you know, I knew they both wanted the wins. But, man, I mean, Crawford just, I mean, he, you know what I loved? He was dancing, but he was having fun while he was doing it. You know, Postal's style is, you know, very European, stand up, straight up, very high, you know, very stiff and, and rigid. But I just love the finesse of boxing. I love the dance, and I love Crawford style. Um, the last fight that I saw that this reminded me of was when I saw um, Martinez beat Kelly Pavlik in Atlantic City. That's the last time, like that movement, that finesse, that joy, the happiness, and just it was just awesome. And just the you know people not thinking. Well, people knew in this fight that Crawford you know could could handle it. But you know just the the, the pop and the shots and, and hurting Victor and taking the shots. That's the other thing that I love about Crawford. He took the shots, but he rolled with the punches. That's a skill. You know, that's not easy to do. He's very smart. He sees he's very good at timing. What do you think of him overall? I mean, you know, boxing, you know, people that are really knowledgeable in boxing know about Crawford, but the, the casual fan, maybe this is the first introduction to him. Uh, what do you think as far as his overall star power is? I mean, he's obviously he's got tons of talent, super skilled, but, you know, as far as outside of the ring, he's more of a quiet guy, not a big talker. So what do you think his star potential is? I think his star potential is going to come out in the ring. I think that's going to be his, his strength, is exactly the performance he put on tonight. Sticking out his tongue a little bit, although I do say I get nervous when some of the guys do that and the girls do that because I'm like, oh, I don't get too confident to take one shot. But, um, you know, sticking out his tongue, playing around, the confidence, the dance, the joy, the fact that he was in impeccable shape. I mean, this is who he is. You know, uh, people can appreciate that about him because he is who he is and he's going to maintain that. But who he is in the ring is a completely different person. He's out there. He's a showboater. And uh, I think that's going to carry his star power. Uh, talk about him and Pacquiao after this. Is that a fight you'd like to see? And, you know, what do you think about that at this time? Um, you know, I got distracted because Honestly, I saw Jesse Vargas back there, another guy that yeah. <laughs> talking about with uh, Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I love Manny, and I'm happy to see him come back, but I just don't think Manny's Manny. You know what I mean? He's, I mean, he, he does great in his fights, and everything's good, but he's not the Manny from five years ago. Four, like, even the Floyd fight. Everybody wanted to see them when they were in their prime. You know, um, Manny's got a style. Styles make fights. So it could be exciting. I mean, it's a different style, and not many people have the Manny Pacquiao style, so I think that will um, bring some interest to the fight. Um, sure, I'll watch it, because it's two great fighters fighting, so I'll, I'll definitely watch it. But, um, you know, who could win? I, I say it's a 50-50. I'm not going to say it's, you know, I'm going with Pacquiao all the way like I would have, you know, maybe five years ago.